Good morning, guys. Another bit of 3D printing going on. Oh, got stuck well down. Won't be able to get that off with one hand. Had to put some glue on the surface because I'd had a bit of trouble again with one of my prints coming loose. Well, any idea what that is? There's a clue. Hi guys. Had a suggestion from Yuval Cohen. Make a rubber band powered cable car. Well, I had a little think about it. And I've 3D printed some parts to give it a go. Uh, general idea is three pulleys, so the cable goes over, under, over, or under, over, under, whichever way I decide to do it. Might even go all the way around the one in the middle. Um, the outside two. In fact, that goes that way up, because I've put little uh, spaces there. The outside two should spin on there. Yeah. That's why they've got B written on them. So they spin on the axle that's there, and then that will hold it in place. That one, the axle spins on there and that one actually fixes to the axle. And then on this side, it's just coming on to rain. That will be a tight fit, that will slide down to there. Another one goes on the end, and that's our axle for the rubber band to go round. And then down at this end, which we need to open up a bit, that's too tight at the moment. That will go right the way through there. And the spacer on it, rubber band, round there, round there wind that one up so that's the drive wheel this sticks right the way through because we're going to need to put some weights on there to balance it and that's my first attempt I have to rig up a cable for it to run up and down i don't expect it to go a, a long way because that's quite a short rubber band but at least we'll be able to see whether it will work in principle. I haven't done any calculations or anything like that to see what diameters we need. We'll just uh, try it by eye. It's gone a little bit dark out there. Uh, right, so there's our three pulleys. Those two spin on the axles. This one is glued to its axle and spins through there. Got a spacer there and a spacer there. So the rubber band can just be wrapped around there. I haven't put a hook on there at the moment. I intend to just wrap the rubber band around so it holds itself in place. And then at this end, spacer at either end, I haven't actually glued that shaft in position, so it can move either way, except it's a tight fit. Just in case, well, it depends what I decide to use for weights. I may need more space, I may need less space, but at the moment I'm just thinking of hooking something over there so we can change the weights as required. So 
we need some rubber bands and we need to set up a cable runway or whatever you want to call it. Right, at the moment the plan is just wrap that over there, wind it up, need a bit of extra glue on there I think, and then see if it goes. It's not going to go very far, so say this is quite a short length of rubber band. So we're not going to get many turns around there. And it's only going to go as far as the number of turns it's got. And being quite a small wheel, that's not going to be very far. Well, I'm not going to claim this as an amazing success, but we do get some action. I've got a lead weight on the bottom of it to help balance it. And we'll go most of this distance. So we're doing maybe two meters if we're lucky. Yeah, not my most successful project, but as a first attempt, we have actually got some movement. We are just using a single rubber band, which I've extended with um, kite string, which is the same as I'm using for the line. That's just so I can wind it up easier. I also put a little peg on the on the axle to hook the string onto. I don't know if we can see that at all. Probably not. Just there. So that hooks on there. So we can wind it up easier. What this tells me is we need a much longer arm if we want to go any sort of distance. But I think that will do for the first attempt. Summary time. Yeah, well it sort of works. Definitely need a longer arm so we can have more rubber band because that's a bit short so we're never going to get much distance with that that wheel or pulley could be larger could be smaller the smaller it is the less distance you're going to get from the rubber band because its circumference is smaller than a bigger wheel so I would be tempted to use a bigger wheel, bigger pulley. I would also think about having a support on the outside here. So we've got an arm coming up here, then out, and then up the outside to support it. Because when you've got all the stress from the rubber band pulling down on that side, it's making it rub in the bearing unevenly. Whereas if we had a, a support on the outside there, sort of a Y shape, um, that would hold it steady or steadier. So I think that would be an improvement. 
you know, size of the wheel, I, I really can't make up my mind whether it won't go bigger or not. Those work all right. Initially, I was going to make them further apart, but there's a problem with trying to print all that in one go on my print bed. That's about as big as I can go. Not much bigger, anyway. In one piece, if I separated it into two or more pieces that clamp together, then you could go slightly bigger. Same problem with the length of that. Can't go much longer than that on my print bed. If you're making out of wood, then easier anyway, I would say, distance-wise. Nice piece of square dowel. You can have that as, as long as you like. And the same across there. So rather than trying to 3D print it, make it from wooden dowel and you should be okay. Longer, for more rubber bands. Not sure about the size of the wheel. I prefer to have a bigger wheel so you get more distance for each rotation. And a support on the outside of here to stop that rocking around. 